Prior to Thursday, you had to provide uh, typically a certificate of training to the issuing authority so they could issue a permit to carry a concealed firearm. After Thursday, you no longer need to seek that permit anymore. You're treated exactly the same as if you're open carrying it under the law prior to Thursday. Nobody new can carry a firearm, no one new can purchase a firearm, no one new can own a firearm. If you can already carry a gun openly today, you'll be able to carry a gun uh, with a coat or a sweatshirt on if it's cold on Thursday. Even though some people have the idea painted that people are not going to get training anymore, more people are getting trained now than they ever have in the past, even though it's not uh, necessary in order to carry a firearm. My concern was we would lose that revenue, which is substantial at the end of the year, um, but we haven't seen a decline in our classes. So that tells you something. It confirms what Jeff just said, that people are actually proactive in getting training and education. This is your grandfather's World War II uh, Marine Corps K-Bar that's been um, legal since forever. It's never been illegal. And these are the new autos. $12 pocket knife that has been illegal up until Thursday. That a knife that was difficult to open was probably going to be legal, but a knife that was easy to open might not be legal. It was that muddy and subjective before, and now we've cleaned it up, so it's going to be easy. After Thursday, the style and design and type won't matter anymore. You, you can open it and close it with one hand or two hands. It can be a switchblade. It can be a butterfly knife. It can be that, that old granddad or old timer that you need two hands to open. There won't be any more penalty based on how you open or close the tool.